Now we're going to move on to one that gives people a lot of trouble, the haywire twist. And this really is kind of the backbone of fishing for anything with teeth, especially big fish, sharks, wahoos, king mackerel, any of those kind of species. Uh, again, not real hard to do, just takes a little bit of practice. And we've got some uh, 80 pound or number seven Malin's single strand wire here. I'm gonna cut a little length of that. What I like to do usually, instead of rigging these up out on the water, if I'm gonna rig a bunch of plugs or I'm gonna make a bunch of, of uh, live bait kingfish rigs, I'll go ahead and pre-cut all this stuff and do it at home. Grab a beer, order a pizza, and make up two or three dozen of these kingfish rigs. But regardless of how you want to do it, here are the basics of the haywire twist. You're going to take your piece of wire, go through the hook eye, leaving about five to seven inches to work with. You're going to double the wire over and crimp it back on itself so that you can work with it. You're going to take both strands of wire and form an X by crossing them over each other using the hook as a lever. You're then going to go around three and a half turns, and what this is going to do is this is actually going to interlock or intermesh the wire together to prevent it from ever slipping. All right, at that point, at the end of that half turn, that wire is going to be standing straight up. You're just going to very simply wrap some tight barrel wraps three or four times around the main wire. Now this is a critical step in this, in this whole knot and that is how you finish it off. A lot of people take pliers or scissors and actually cut the wire leaving a small tag in. I'm going to tell you that's a very very bad idea. Even the smallest nub, if you run your finger along this and you can feel just a little bit of a tip of wire, can be very very dangerous in the boat when you have a fish attached to it. I've got a friend of mine that lost the use of two of his fingers almost 30 years ago because of one of those small tag ends. He leaned over to, to leader a fish and bring it in the boat sliced the tendons in his, in his hand, he hasn't been able to use those two fingers since, and had to be airlifted uh, from offshore by the Coast Guard. So, not a good idea. Learn to do it right the first time. What you're going to do is you're actually going to take this tag in, and you're going to face the main strand of wire away from you, and then bend the tag end perpendicular to the wire, forming a small handle. Then, it's very easy, holding the main line in one hand, or the main strand in one hand and the little handle in the other, just move it back and forth, back and forth. It's going to break off just as easy as that. Now to tell whether you did it right or not, because sometimes it will break and it'll leave a small tag in there, take your hand or your fingers and just run it across that. If you don't feel anything, you're good to go. Uh, if you do feel something there, just go ahead and snip it off and uh, go ahead and, and try it over but definitely do not want to deliberately cut the tag end of the wire with a pair of clippers. And that's the haywire twist. One of the best ways to, uh, to connect a lure or a hook whenever you're targeting uh, toothy critters.